Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's ruling Bharatiya Janata Party appears set for a big win in the Gujarat elections. Vote counting is underway there and in India's northernmost state of Himachal Pradesh. But it's the battle for Mr Modi's home state that's grabbing much of the attention. Early results suggest his BJP is set to win more than 150 of 182 assembly sets. Final results are expected to be announced very soon. Well, let's get more now from Neha Punia. She joins us live from New Delhi. Neha, what factors have emerged as key to propelling the BJP towards what's projected to be a landslide win in Gujarat? Well, the BJP has declared victory with Prime Minister Modi tweeting a short while ago to say he's overwhelmed by the kind of support that the people of Gujarat have shown his party. And uh, this is expected to be the best performance by any political party in the history of Gujarat. And the BJP also bettering its own performance uh, compared to the last elections in 2017, expected to win 50 more seats than they did five years ago. And uh, uh, one major factor in this particular election is Mr. Modi himself. He's from that state. He was chief minister of Gujarat for three terms. And there's a sense of pride uh, uh, among uh, the people of Gujarat that the prime minister hails from their state. He's also gone all out to woo the voters of Gujarat. There were concerns that there would be significant anti-incumbency. Uh, the BJP has been in power in Gujarat for 27 years. And uh, with this victory, they will uh, now be one of the longest um, uh, longest uh, reigns by any party in any state in India. And uh, there were concerns that issues like unemployment, rising uh, prices would definitely dampen the BJP's chances of re-election, uh, which is why Mr. Modi uh, went all out. Uh, he held more than 30 rallies at each one telling voters that they must vote for development, they must vote for him uh, as the son of the soil. He even went to Morbi where a bridge collapse um, last month claimed more than 130 lives. And um, it is a prestige battle because uh, the BJP would not want to lose the state that uh, uh, that groomed Prime Minister Modi to become Prime Minister. And they're really uh, hoping that this sort of uh, will build their confidence going into 2024 as well. Still, Neha, the Cong Congress party seems to be making headway in Himachal Pradesh ahead of the BJP, even as it struggles to stay relevant to voters. Absolutely. And this is a silver lining for the Congress if they manage to win Himachal Pradesh, which is what uh, leads are showing is very likely. Um, the party has really struggled to stay relevant, especially given the last poll drubbing in the national elections in 2019. In fact, uh, senior uh, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi is currently holding uh, a pan-India march, uh, which he claims is an aim to unite the country and also address problems that the common man is facing. Um, and many say this is an attempt to re launch the party ahead of the 2024 national elections. But um in Himachal, while the BJP uh, used the same poll plank as it did in Gujarat, asking voters to vote for Mr. Modi, uh, hoping that his popularity would win them another term, Himachal is known to rotate uh, governments every five years. That's what's happened in this case. But what worked in Congress's favour is also the fact that they've raised many local issues. They've done door-to-door -door campaigning. They've promised to address problems of unemployment and price rise. And Rahul Gandhi tweeted a short while ago saying that they will deliver on all of those promises. So for the Congress... Uh, um, the aim now going into preparations for 2024 will be to build on this momentum and sustain uh, this uh, particular performance in order to give any sort of real challenge to Mr. Modi, who still remains the most popular uh, leader, nationally speaking. All right, many thanks. Uh, Neha Punia uh, speaking to us live from New Delhi. And a quick look at how markets react, are reacting to all that. Indian shares snapped a losing streak amid hopes of policy continuity with the ruling BJP set for that landslide victory in Gujarat. Now, uh, the Nifty 50 index uh, closing about uh, three-tenths of a percent higher, while the Sensex managed to snap a four-day losing streak to settle also about uh, three-tenths of a percent higher.